Welcome to the Real Estate Espresso Podcast, your morning shot of what's new in the world of real estate investing. I'm your host, Victor Manash. Today's another AMA episode, that is, Ask Me Anything. Now, I love to answer your questions, and if you have a question you think is going to be of broad interest, send it in. I'll answer it live on the air. Send your questions to victor at victorjm.com. It's victor at victorjm.com. This question comes from Rod in the state of Ohio. He writes, In a past episode, you discussed everyone being on the same page, literally, from a document version standpoint. You were evaluating different services and options at that point, wondering if you could share your results of your analysis and of the new system. Any thoughts of why you chose that specific system for your needs? We love your podcast and thank you for all you do. Well, Rod, thank you for the kind words, and this is a great question. When we were looking for a document management system, we were looking for more than just a library. We were looking for a workflow that would effectively automate many aspects of our business operations. That means a set of tools that understand the workflow of our company that develops real estate, built on top of an underlying document management platform. When we think about new construction projects, there's just so many versions and revisions of documents that are in draft form over a period of time. We're talking about the architectural drawings, the specifications, the contracts, that then in turn reference other documents as exhibits. All of these need to be maintained in some self-consistent manner. When you get into construction, we find that there's many subcontractors that need to be managed. Even for something as simple as a single-family home, it can require an average of 20 subcontractors. And by the way, the projects we're doing a lot bigger than that. And if you're getting three bids from subcontractors, you're managing conversations now with 60 different companies for just one project. And if you have multiple projects, Now you have multiples of 60 conversations. You get the idea. Staying organized on this front is one of the most important things you can do. Because the management of this vast volume of data is so labor intensive, we came to the conclusion that investing in a software system that would automate the entire workflow would save us from hiring more people. And that's turning out to be true. We evaluated numerous software systems geared to both large companies and small. The leading small company solution is a software called Builder Trend. It's a good system, and I have experience with it from the past. We also evaluated Timberline and Sage, which are now one company as a result of a merger. It's a big company solution, and Sage is the market share leader. They've also been around the longest, and because of that, the underlying technology for Sage is quite frankly antiquated. We didn't feel that it provided the level of integration and workflow that we were seeking. The last software we evaluated is called Procore. It's actually the most expensive of the solutions we looked at, but it's also the most comprehensive. The software includes the ability to give everyone associated with the project access to a common repository. That includes smartphone apps, both on iPhone and Android, so the construction workers in the field can log into the project. And even if those workers don't work for you directly, you can give them protected access to the project files through their phone. If they have a question, they can issue an RFI, a request for information, back to the project. It might be a simple question like the orientation of the hardwood flooring or the tiles. Do we want the floorboards oriented north-south or east-west? And we can respond to the RFI through Procore. There's a complete paper trail of all the communication. Most importantly, we can attach the relevant drawing to their response. The version of the drawing is automatically being managed, the version history management in the underlying library. We can also attach any associated SPAC documents, shop drawings, manufacturer's installation instructions, warranty information, all from a single place. The system allows us to track all of the RFIs, the subcontractor bids, the subcontractor agreements, invoicing, reports, all from a single dashboard. The system integrates with QuickBooks to make sure we've got financial reports that are tied to a single golden representation of the financials. And when we speak about the budget for a project, there's always three views of the budget. There's the contractual plan of record. That's what we agreed to at the signing of the construction contract. But as time goes on, there can be change orders, which would result in a forecast budget that deviates from the original plan of record. And then finally, you've got the actual view of the budget, so you compare your actual against the plan of record and compare it against the current forecast. The same can be said about the project schedule. There's a plan of record, there's a current forecast, and then there's the actual. You need all three views. When you're dealing with construction, there's inventory of materials, both fixed pricing, variable volume-based pricing, futures contracts, and so on, and all of that needs to be managed as well. The system keeps track of all of the action items and minutes from meetings, so you don't need a separate task manager like Trello or Asana. This, too, is integrated. 
So we ended up choosing a system that is perhaps the most comprehensive of all, but it provides the system's backbone for the entire company across more than a dozen projects. We ended up choosing a system that's expensive, to be sure, and we suffered a bit of sticker shock when we got the quote. At the same time, we were easily convinced the savings would multiply in the reduced manpower and avoiding a single mistake in the field would pay for the entire software system many times over. So that's how we chose Procore. And I want to thank you, Rod, for an awesome question. And for the listeners at home, have a great rest of your day. Go make some great things happen. And we'll talk to you again tomorrow.